Hey guys, it's Jim Nix with Nomadic Pursuits. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to talk about Snap Heal for Mac Fun. It's a very powerful object removal tool that I use all the time. It's saved my bacon so many times, I can't even tell you. Um, I create a lot of HDRs with Aurora HDR Pro, which I love. Uh, but sometimes there's things in the, in, the, uh, in the photo that I don't want there. And that's if that's the case, I turn to Snap Heal to remove them because it's great. So uh, this is an HDR that I'm working on. It's some waterfalls. If you notice, there's a hose in here uh, coming across. I, I didn't even notice it when I was, uh, I was there taking the photos. I was pretty excited about the waterfalls. Uh, but I got home uh, working on the image, and I was like, well, there's a hose. I need to get rid of it. So that's when I turned to Snap Heal. So let me take you through it. Uh, if you've looked at any MacFun products or used any of them before, you'll notice everything looks sort of similar. You have all the uh, tools and options across the top, and then the menu uh, items down on the right-hand side. Uh, there's three major sections. There's Erase, Retouch, and Adjust. And Erase gives you a couple of different options, and that's where we're going to spend most of our time today. You have the uh, the paintbrush where you just paint over whatever it is you want to erase and then erase it. Um, the Eraser, to if you, if you paint over something and decide you don't want to paint over that, you just erase it that way. And then the Lasso tool, which allows you to do a freehand or a polygonal type lasso. Um, by the way, there's also Clone and Stamp over here, which is great. So we'll start with the paintbrush. Um, you can move the diameter up and down, and you can also do that with your left and right bracket key, which is what I'm doing here. So let's just start by removing this hose. I'll show you how it works. You just paint over the hose. I'm doing this kind of roughly um, just for demo purposes, but it'll give you a good idea how the product works. And before you hit Erase, I always make sure you check uh, and make sure you choose the proper Erase Mode and Precision Level. So Global is great for bigger objects. For this, I would use Local. It's a little bit more targeted, and it's better for smaller objects. And then Precision Level, you can use Norm, High, or Highest. I use Highest on this one, and uh, once you're ready, you just hit Erase. Uh, the fun thing about Snap Heal is that it gives you these uh, different little tidbits of trivia while you're waiting on uh, the calculations to occur. Um, also, I would note that on the precision level, uh, the further to your right, uh, further to the right that you go in the highest mode, uh, it's going to take longer than if you choose high, and high will take longer than norm. Makes sense. It's just that uh, you know that's how the product works. Uh, it's getting very precise. Although uh, you know, admittedly, any software product, whether it's Snap Peel or something else, it has to sort of guess what it is is supposed to be behind what you're erasing, and so. Uh, this one does a really good job of guessing, but it doesn't mean it's perfect. But I find that it works uh, much better than the tools built into Lightroom, uh, which is what I use for my day-to-day -day sort of uh, photo library management uh, product at, or host, if you will. Um, and, uh, you know, anyway, I find that it works much better f than that, and I can be more precise with this. Uh, and, hey, you get this fun little bit of trivia. Uh, while that's building out, I'll also take a moment to mention there's two specials running. The first one is Aurora HDR Pro is on special. You can read that on my blog. And the Creative Kit is uh, also on special for Mac Fun, and that's a bundle of this product and, and several others. Uh, and that's a, and a huge discount right now as well. So you can read about both of those on my blog. Uh, so there you go. The, uh, the hose has been removed. If I show you where it was and how it looks now, you would never know that there was something there. So uh, I'm not going to remove everything. There's more hose, and, and there's some rocks up here, and there's some sticks back here that I'd remove, but I think you get the gist of the uh, removal. I wanted to show you the lasso tool. The free, um, the free lasso, you just literally draw around the object you want to erase, and um, there you go, right? Then you hit erase. I'm going to erase that because I don't want to. Uh, polygonal is uh, you, you click on it, and then you draw a line, and then you draw, uh, or then you click, and then you draw another line, and then you click, and there you go, right? So it makes a uh, a hard sided or a straight line sort of thing. So you can make triangles, any kind of square, rectangular, any kind of polygon, right? So uh, it makes for straight lines. So if it's a billboard or something you're removing, that would probably be a good option for you. Um, I typically use just the brush, but I wanted to point out the lasso just in case, and I'm going to erase that because no point in removing it. And then the clone uh, brush is uh, really cool as well. Let's say you like the texture on this rock and you want it to show up on that rock. You just come over here and you hold down the option key and you click where you want to uh, basically cut from. And then you come over here and you start pasting, right? So there you go. Um, that's a cool way to basically clone and stamp. Take texture from, uh, 
you know, one place and add it to another. I'm not really going to do that, so uh, I'll just back up and remove that step, but I wanted to show you how it works. Uh, that's a quickie on basically how SnapHill works for object removal, but there's two more really cool tools that are built into SnapHill. The next one is the retouch menu. If you look over here, you have all kinds of typical adjustments that you would find in Lightroom, and you have a brush as well. You can selectively mask in adjustments here and make those fine-tuned selective adjustments. So let's say you don't have a host editor like Lightroom and don't have that ability. You can do that right here in SnapHeal. So all you do is you make your adjustments. Let's say we want to apply some texture and some more color to the, uh, to the rock. So you can just say sharpen. I'm going to do this kind of drastically just to make the point. You can drag the sharpen. You can drag the clarity. And let's, uh, excuse me, let's say you drag the saturate, uh, saturation really high. Then I'll come over here. I'll just paint that into the rock, right? So anywhere I paint, it's going to have the effect that I uh, chose on the sliders. So there you go. Um, I'm painting it into these different rock areas just to show you what it would look like. But that's a really cool uh, way to make targeted adjustments to a photo. A photo. It's kind of like final touch-up. Uh, you can hit reset if you don't like it, um, and uh, it'll take it back out of there. And uh, delete the mask. You don't need the mask either. So if you hit that, that says show mask, and that was delete mask. Um, so that's an easy way to do that. And then the last piece is the adjust. Uh, the retouch menu that we were just on is uh, targeted and specific, right? You brush in the adjustments to particular spots in the photo. The adjust menu is global in nature. So let's say you wanted to make uh, global temperature changes. You want more of a blue tint uh, or temperature and you want to change the tint. You slide these, it affects the entire image. So if you need targeted adjustments, you go to the retouch menu here. If you want global adjustments, you come over here. But I, you know, I say I want to sharpen it. Maybe there's some denoise I want to do. Maybe I want to increase uh, the shadows so it's a little brighter. You know, whatever it is, you can just make those adjustments here. And uh, I'll do something drastic so you can see it. Uh, it does affect the entire image. That's pretty drastic, right? Uh, you can either double click on each of these to put them back, or you can just hit reset. Um, but that's it. I'll take it back to the erase menu because that's the biggie, and that's the main reason to have the product. The retouch and adjust uh, menus are just extra bonuses that are built in that are, that are great fun to have in case you don't have another product to use it. Or if you see something you want to make a quick touch-up edit to before you finish the photo. But that's it. That's a quick view of Snapheel. It's super awesome, super easy to use. It's very good at removing complicated objects, which I love. And uh, it's, it's better than uh, your, your standard host program like Lightroom. And so I use it all the time. I think you'll love it too. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.